about the self and not self. Well, there has always been a lot of argument over the last couple of eons, a couple of thousands of years, uh, where academics and philosophers have argued about self and not self, with the main difference being argued between Buddhism, who are the the Buddhist uh, belief is that all things are not self, that there is no unchanging eternal self that is unchanging, and that Hinduism and Jainism have the belief that all living beings have an eternal self or a metaphysical self or a super soul, you know, the Paramatman. And so, uh, the Brahman or the Hindu and the Jain view, Jainism view, is that uh, all beings have an eternal self, a super self. And the Buddhist uh, view of this is that all beings, uh, sorry, th that that which is eternal does not have an unchanging self yeah? and that Hinduism believes that that which is eternal has a super self and so the only difference would to, between that which is eternal having a super self and that which is eternal not having an unchanging self is the changingness of it so one would assume that the only difference is not that Hinduism has an eternal soul and that Buddhism doesn't have anything, rather that that which is eternal in Buddhism does not have an unchanging selfness to it. Hmm? It does not, it is empty of all those unchanging qualities because of the Dhamma of impermanence or constant change, that everything is constantly changing in time and space whereas the Hindu belief is according to most people that the eternal that which is eternal has an unchanging self to it I would not say I have seen that anywhere written in Hindu scripture that the Paramatman is unchanging unchanged I would say maybe it might be said that it is unborn and therefore undying, but then so is that which is Nibbanic, that which is eternal in Buddhism, is that which was never born and that which will never die, the part which is pure and is non-conditioned, the unconditioned. And I would assume that that in Hinduism is also that which is Paramatman, that which is eternal, is unconditioned. And so I think there's a great misunderstanding between people think there is a difference between uh, Hinduism and Buddhism so much because actually they both uh, try to deal with that which is eternal but they just name it in different ways. Mm. One of those philosophies names it as something that seems separate and identifiable although it's never specified or identified as having any particular quality apart from being eternal and immortal but apart from that there's nothing else stated as far as I know saying that it is unchangeably this, unchangeably that and so actually I would say they almost agree with each other that something is there that is eternal but that it is not conditioned and so I think that, that hopefully should clear up the thing about self and non-self. And Sir Jan Spencer of the Buddha Magic Project signing off.